energy. It literally powers our lives, and ensuring an ongoing supply of it is one of the looming national and international challenges we face. The Savannah River site today is at the center of energy development. Together with the Savannah River National Laboratory, SRS is a leader in hydrogen, biofuel, and the reuse of surplus nuclear weapons material. SRS has a unique asset base to apply to important clean energy initiatives. Enterprise SRS, through the Small Modular Reactor Initiative, will seek to meet these challenges. The same expertise that helped win the Cold War is now being focused to accelerate this next wave of nuclear technology. So I believe that, that nuclear is the clean energy answer for the future of this country. It's the energy independence, it's the energy security answer for this country. Accelerating the deployment of SMRs is one of the strategic initiatives of Enterprise SRS. SRS has announced three public-private partnerships to develop SMR technologies at SRS facilities. We as keepers of government assets have the opportunity to provide incentives because we need services that these small reactors could perform. Those are the focus of the agreements that we've, we've uh, developed for these memorandum of agreements. These agreements with Gen4 Energy, SMR LLC, and New Scale Power will help break down engineering and testing barriers while providing partner companies with access to site facilities and assets. These reactors will be uh, licensed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The, the people here at the Savannah River site will be able to offer support such as providing data, analysis, um, other documentation that will be required for the NRC license. An NRC license is very important because that will mean these reactors can be deployed around the country and around the world. At the same time, existing government resources can be revitalized to help enable game-changing technology in the energy industry. In fact, Enterprise SRS is all about reinvigorating a mission space that supports the country in the future in many different areas from national security to environmental cleanup to energy security. Small modular reactors are not a new idea. They've been used to power the nuclear navy for 60 years. You look at what we do manufacture in this country, it is small reactors. And it's small reactors that are used to propel submarines and aircraft carriers for the nuclear navy. It would be a natural for that infrastructure to evolve and to the ability to develop these commercial systems for export. SMR benefits are numerous. As the name implies, they are much smaller and cheaper to manufacture than traditional nuclear power plants. They may be built on an assembly line and trucked to their final destinations. Overall designs are less complicated and therefore potentially safer. And some do not need refueling for a decade or more and are simply replaced at the end of their fuel life. Though designs vary, a typical SMR would generate around 300 megawatts of power, enough to power about 45,000 homes. And since they are modular, systems can be easily expanded to meet increased demand. Because now you have a nuclear system that you can add as you need it. And you can probably manufacture it in two years instead of seven. And if it's factory manufactured, you can turn it out maybe even quicker. The partnership agreements will help these companies obtain information on potential SMR reactor siting at SRS and provide a framework for land use and site services. We want to be sure that the site um, chosen is compatible with our ongoing mission operations. And we also want to make sure that the selected site doesn't interfere with any sensitive areas, be they sensitive for ecological purposes, cultural or historical purposes. With its nuclear knowledge base, the Savannah River National Laboratory is uniquely qualified to support the SMR initiative. SRNL is closely linked to all of the nuclear assets of the site, and SRNL's fuel cycle expertise, applicable to multiple SMR designs, is a unique asset. There's only one laboratory that I'm aware of that knows how to do that nuclear chemistry backwards and forwards, and that's Savannah River National Lab. Enterprise SRS gives us the momentum to push forward. The potential benefits of SRS's small modular reactor initiatives reach beyond site boundaries. The economic impact for area communities could be significant for future economic growth. 
there's going to be a whole industry growing up uh, for generating and, and producing the fuel for those, those small modular reactors. Continued uh, fantastic jobs uh, knowing that, that you're making a contribution to the, uh, to the well-being of, of, the, of the country. SRS boasts an impressive and enviable safety record and ingrained safety culture. Continued world-class safety performance will be a key factor in the development of any new nuclear power technologies at SRS. The Savannah River site today is poised with the leadership, the knowledge base, and a world-class safety infrastructure to meet America's clean energy challenge. I believe small reactors are what's going to reinvigorate that pipeline of students, reinvigorate our approach to a, what I call a holistic fuel cycle, and reinvigorate our ability to negotiate with other countries around the world and how they approach nuclear energy as a supplier of choice. New reactors won't appear at SRS overnight. Through its Enterprise SRS initiatives, however, the site has taken the first steps to accelerate the next generation of nuclear power technology. Technology that can provide clean energy for domestic needs and markets around the globe.